Hey, happy Thursday. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Um, I had to do some work stuff this morning. I'm going to go back and check it one more time. It's my day off, but um, I had a few things I was supposed to do yesterday, but I didn't get back to them. I don't know what happened to my day yesterday. You ever just have a day that just gets away from you? Like, I don't even, I don't even know what I did. You know, I look at the clock, it's 10 a.m. Next thing I know, it's it's 9 o'clock at night. I don't know what the hell I've done all day. I also apologize for the shaky video. I do have my new phone all set up and ready to go. I put a case on it yesterday and a screen protector. Um, But I'm still using my old phone. I don't know why. Well, I have a few days left on my Verizon service, and I just, I don't know. I have a hard time going to a new phone. I do. Every time I change phones, I'm just like, I, I mean, I, I, know I, I know it's my new phone, and I need to be using it, but I, I don't like change. I don't, <laughs> I want to keep using my old phone, even though I complain about it constantly. I know, I know. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start using it. Especially now that it has the screen protector on it and the, the case, which is supposed to be military grade, drop proof, this and that proof, and wonderful. And like, yeah, I reckon. Um, oh gosh, I am going to, I'm going by Michael's right now. It's not for the video I'm doing today, but it's one I've got coming up. Um, I gotta go look for some mesh. I, I like to stop by there periodically to see if their mesh is on sale. It seems like they never put it on sale anymore. And I need to get some. But oh, it's so expensive at regular price. Whenever they put it on sale for $4.99 or $7.99 or whatever, that's when I, I stock up when they have it on sale. Because normally it's $9.99 to $14.99 per roll. And ugh, I don't wanna pay that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run by there and see um, see if it's on sale. And if it is, I'm gonna get some for a reef I want to do. Um, I'm still making that Kentucky butter cake. I gotta get home and get started on that. Usually when I'm doing a cooking video, I don't really get started until about lunchtime. That gives me the morning to take care of whatever I need to do and get all my equipment downstairs and get everything set up and change. You know, I gotta change clothes. Or at least from the waist up, I need to change clothes or at least put my little dropping a new recipe on your ass apron on. I love that apron. It's so funny. Um, I've been thinking about something lately. And I think it's because my kids are getting older. And it's made me think back to when I was a teenager and the turbulent, the years of just toxic turbulence and shit that went on when I was a teenager and I'm I'm not really comfortable talking about everything um maybe maybe on down the road but there's other stuff that I you know I wasn't part of like a ritual sacrifice or something like that but just stuff between me and my parents that I don't really want to talk about at this point later on but anyway I got to thinking about my dad and my dad's family and especially his father had this philosophy and it was part his family his whole family had this philosophy and it's it, it runs counter to what most families would want I don't know how to describe it there's a saying in my father's father's family back you know several generations ago I don't know that you hear it so much in that family now Thank God, I think it's mostly died out. Um, the saying in their family is, don't get above your raisins. And I don't mean dried grapes. What the hell are we stopped for? Oh, road work. I swear every road in Greensboro is in the middle of something all the time. You've got somebody, you know, directing traffic, got lanes blocked off every damn where in this town. Our states, our, our city symbol ought to be one of those little orange traffic cones or the little barrels or the flag man with the little stop sign. I swanny everywhere I try to go. Sorry. Yep. Don't get above your raisins. Now, a lot of 
poor southern families had this philosophy and I've, I've learned I've learned a lot about it in the last few months because it's interesting to me like where did that come from and I'm not entirely sure where it came from but it was fairly common four or five well three four or five generations ago it was pretty common don't get above your raisins raisings what that basically means is as a child as a child if you aspire to do better than your parents that is being disrespectful to your parents that's like saying your parents are not good enough they didn't do enough you're being disrespectful to your parents if you aspire to do anything more than what they did that's the way my father's father felt that's the way my father felt when I was growing up and again I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody I'm just stating a fact that when I was growing up that was the prevailing theme that I heard don't get above your raisins don't forget you're forgetting yourself you, you're for, you're forgetting yourself you're forgetting where you came from don't don't get above your raisins don't get too big for your britches there are plenty of sayings that go along with the, the notion okay um, for my brother and me that was the theme in my house I don't think my mom really agreed with it but see my mother was raised to love honor and obey you, you you know the man is the head of the household you do what he says you defer to him so if that's what he thinks that's going to be the prevailing theme in the house and you gonna shut the hell up that was so <laughs> yeah awesome so for me the an honorable life for me would have been to finish high school if you want to don't worry about it it's really not school is not important um, you don't need to worry about it if you want to finish high school you can um, or not whatever get a job in a mill marry a good man have some kids and go to church the end you should not want any more out of life than that and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that life I'm not if that if that is what someone wants to do well, good luck finding a job in a mill because all the mills are freaking gone. Even back in the 80s, you could see the trend. The writing was on the wall. All of the mills, like where I grew up in the generations prior to me, a lot of, you know, a lot of the poor families, they worked in the mills. Their whole lives, they would work in the mill. Hard, back-breaking work their whole lives. And that's all they ever did. A lot of them didn't get, didn't finish school. A lot of them had to drop out young. Like my grandmother, um, my mother's mother had to drop out of school in the eighth grade and help her family out because they, you know, well, it was during the depression too. So, or getting close to the depression, you know, she had to help, she had to work and help support the family when she was like 12 or 13 years old. Some of my family members had to drop out of school earlier than that and they never went back. And back then you could do that. You could go get a job in a mill at 15 or 16 with no education or anything. You just go to work. Well, you can't do that anymore. That is not an option. But if your mindset is stuck in that, you know, with that philosophy of don't get above your raisins, it's like it doesn't compute. Well, what do you mean you can't do that? Of course you can. You don't need to finish school. Just go get you a job at a mill, marry a good person, have some kids, and go to church. Why would you ever want anything more than that? What's wrong with that? What, do you think you're too good for that? No, I just don't want to do that. Okay, so that's what I grew up with. That was what I grew up having drummed into my head from the time I was small. But there was always this part of me that was just like, no, um, no, I don't think so. I've known all my life, and this is ever since I was little, as far back as I can remember. I can remember being four years old and thinking, I'm not meant to stay here. And I don't know what that means, but I've always known that the town I grew up in, I was going to leave. I'm going to grow up here. I'm supposed to grow up here, but I'm not supposed to stay here. I'm so, I don't know where. I never worried about it, but I always just kind of knew somehow in my mind, I just knew I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm not going to spend all of my life here. I'm going to grow up here and then I'm going to leave. And I'm not coming back to live here. I'm not meant to live here. 
as an adult. I don't know. I've just always known that. Ever since I was small, I've known that. But I didn't want to work in a mill. I wanted to go to college, but that, oh, no, no, no. College, no. No, 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 no. College is bad. You don't want to do that. Nothing good ever came out of college. They're just going to turn you into a snob who thinks you're better than everybody else. Well, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk shit about anybody. This is just the way it was. And I'm talking about it because I know I am not the only one who had to grow up with this. It was a lot more common than I, I think some people realize. So, okay. Yeah, a good life for me would have been drop out of school, get a job in a mill, marry a good man, go to church, have kids. That's it. The end. And do that till you die. For my brother, the options were slightly different. You can join the military if you want to. Or quit school, get a job at a mill, marry a good woman, have some kids, go to church. The end. So that, those were the only options that were considered to be acceptable. If you want anything other than that, there's something wrong with you. I was talking to my older son about this the other night. I was trying to explain this to him. Like, this was the mindset. And it, it's so counterproductive. And he, he, point, he made a good observation about it. He said, so really, over time, the only trajectory, if you have a family that feels this way, the only trajectory you can hope for is for it to go down. At best, it will stay right here. More than likely, over time, you will just see shittier and shittier stuff. Like, if, if you can't ever do better, all you can either do is stay the same or, or just get worse. I said, exactly. That's exactly right. That's all you can ever hope for. And that, according to the philosophy of my father's father's family, that should be good enough for you. You should not want any more than that. If you do, there's something wrong with you, and you're just a snob, and you think you're better than your family. You're getting too big for your britches. You are forgetting yourself. Well, the relationship between my dad and me was not good for about four years prior to my graduation from high school. And again, I'm not going to get into all that right now. Not, I'll just leave it at this. It was not good. Not good at all. And I, well, the way I looked at it was, well, shit, he already doesn't approve of me. He already won't speak to me. Fuck it, I'm going to college. What's he going to do? You're going to, you're going to disapprove of me even more? No, nah, you already don't approve of me, so I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. I never asked for a dime from him. Like, you ain't got to pay for shit. I'll get loans in my name. I'll pay them off my damn self. You don't have to give me a fucking penny. Sorry, I don't mean to get... But that's, you know, this is me at 17. Like, I don't want shit from you. But that life, I mean, I'm looking around like, yes, there were still some a few mills around when I was a senior in high school. But not many. You could already see they were going overseas. They were going to Mexico. They were shutting down. One after another, they were shutting down. Like, there's no future there. There's no future in that. And if I had done the proper thing, and, you know, don't get above your raisins, if I had done that, I would have been without a job within just a few years. Whatever mill I was working at would have closed. So there I would be, no high school diploma, no skills, no education, where would, I, where would I go? Where would I go? Well, don't get above your raisins. You better not go back to school. What do you think? You, you think you're too good to live like your, your grandfather or great-grandfather? You think you're too good for that? No. I just want something different. Why is that so threatening to you? I just want something different for my life. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm sorry that your insecurity is so bad that the mere thought of your your children or grandchildren doing better than you bothers you. But I'm not going to make, make my life choices based on your insecurity. I'm not going to do it. This is my life. I'm going to do it the way I want to. Sorry, again, I'm not trying to diss anybody or talk shit. This is just facts. This is just what happened. And I'm saying all this because I just have a feeling I'm not the only person that had to deal with this growing up. And I just want you to know you're not the only one that had to deal with this stupid family dynamic that just I cannot even believe is a thing, but it is. Um, 
I have a good relationship with my dad now. I mean, we did years later, years down the road, we made amends. He didn't go to my high school graduation. He didn't go to either of my college graduations. And I knew he wouldn't. I knew he wouldn't. He wanted nothing to do with that. Um, but if, yeah, if I had done the, you know, if I had followed that philosophy, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I don't know. I would, my life would look completely different. I would not have the same life at all that I have right now. And I'm so glad that my stubborn ass basically gave that whole philosophy the finger and said, no, thank you. That is not for me. Um, my brother joined the military. He joined the Navy to try to get my, our father's approval, long story short. Um, didn't really work and my brother kind of reached the same conclusion when he got out of the Navy like you don't you already don't approve of me fucking I'm going to college and he now is very successful and doing very doing very very well he is doing great um, but yeah I, I mean if you okay if you're a young person, and I, I don't know that that philosophy is so prevalent anymore, thank God. I hope it's not. I hope it's not. But if you have parents or even peers, because I was the rough crowd I hung out with in high school said that I couldn't even handle college. I had them also uh, poo-pooing the, the aspect of going to college. Like, oh, you think you're big stuff here, but you know, you're going to be a you're going to be a little fish in a big pond if you go off to college. You'll be back home by Christmas. You'll flunk out, blah, blah, blah. You can't handle it. But the thing about me is, and I've always been like this, you want to know the biggest motivator for me to do something? Tell me I can't. Tell me I can't do it. You're not cap you, are, you are not capable of that. Oh, shit. Really? Bitch, watch. Watch me. I will. I will do it. I will. I will kick this thing's ass, and I will blow your mind. I will be able to do it. Yeah, tell me I can't do something and see what happens. It's the best motivator in the world. Um, so, but if you, if you have parents or peers or anyone trying to discourage you from what you want to do in life, um, you just have to stop and think. Maybe they are your parents. Maybe they are your friend. But that doesn't mean that they have all the answers, and that doesn't mean that everything they say is correct. It doesn't mean that it's accurate or that it's good for you. You have to make your own decisions. This is your life. It is not their life. It is your life. I would not go making major life decisions based on someone else's baggage or beliefs or whatever. If you want to do a thing, do a thing. I mean, don't don't worry about, well, they might not approve or they might not like it. Honey, if they are already, if their approval of you is conditional, they're going to find some other reason to not approve of you anyway. They, they're going to find something about you that they don't like and they're going to judge you for it or whatever. They're going to disapprove of you anyway because they have problems with themselves. They have their own self-esteem shit or something, something's going on with them. I don't know if they just, they're just insecure and the thought of anyone else succeeding threatens them. I don't know what it is, but don't make major life decisions based on somebody else's dysfunctional thinking. Um, and if you did, and you're still breathing, it's not too late to change. If you're still alive, you've still got time to change the direction of your life and you can do it differently. My brother did. He did 10 years in the Navy and when he decided not to go for another 10, you know, our dad criticized him for that. You know, you need to stay in for another 10 years. And my brother's like, I don't want to. I'm done with the Navy. I don't want to, I don't want to be in the Navy anymore. I want to do my own thing. I want to go to college. I want to do this. I want to do that. Up yours. And he just went and did it. So he may still get criticized for that, but it's like, what are you criticizing him for? He did what he wanted to do and it worked out great. Well, he didn't get the Navy retirement. Yeah, I'm sure he's really going to miss that, what, $1,200 a month? Baby, he makes more than $1,200 in a day doing what he does. He is not worried about that money from the Navy. He's not worried about it. He doesn't need it. That is chump change to him. Because he went on back to school. He were, he's been working in the private sector. He makes unbelievably good money now. 
because he's super smart and he's really good at stuff and he's just he's just amazing my brother is just incredible but see that's going to get disapproval right there well you didn't stay in the navy longer so i'm going to judge you forever for that you should have stayed in longer why what for 12 for the stupid retirement it's going to be like this much money whoop de doo anyway I, I again i'm not trying to be I may, I may get blowback for this. I may get blowback for saying all this, but I'm saying all this for a reason. Um, some people did grow up in homes where they were limited. Even if the limit was, you're going to be a doctor, that's it. You're not going to do anything else. I don't care what you want to do. Or you're going to do this. You're going to do, you're going to do, you're going to grow up and be this. Well, I don't want to grow up and be that. Well, you're going to. And a lot of people go on and do it because they don't want to, they don't want to, they want their parents' approval. They want it so desperately that they will live the life, the, their parents will just live vicariously through them. And the kid is miserable doing something they don't want to do. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to. You don't have to. And if, it, if you have to jump through all these hoops to get your parents' approval or any, whoever's approval, they're going to find some reason to not approve of you anyway. They're going to find some other thing that they don't like that you did or you said, you know, 20 years ago you said this thing and they're going to hang on to it forever and they're going to bring it up every time they get mad and it's, you can't win with these people. So you might as well just go on out there and live the life that you want to live. And you can. It, I'm not saying it's easy. You may have family cut off contact with you for doing it. Um, you, you may have family members that just refuse to have anything to do with you. I may or may not have some experience with that. But it's your life. And you have to decide what means more to you. Being happy and doing what you want to do with your life or spending your life trying in vain to make someone else happy. To have someone else's approval. I decided that wasn't for me, so I just went on and I, I just forged my own path and I just went my own way. And I've never regretted it for a minute. I don't regret it at all. I did exactly what I wanted to do. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I've done things I shouldn't have. And I've tried to make amends for things that I've done wrong or things I've said. And, you know, but overall, I, I don't have any, I don't regret my life. I don't regret the decisions I made. I don't regret finishing high school and going to college. I don't regret getting two degrees. I don't regret any of it because that's what I wanted to do and I damn well did it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm rambling. You gotta live your life. You gotta make your own decisions even though sometimes it's really hard to do it. If it's what you really want, it'll be worth it. So, all right, I'm gonna go into Michael's and look for mesh and see if it's on sale. Um, I really hope you're having a good Thursday. I'm going to go home and make Kentucky butter cake, hopefully. And I will see you again soon.